Hi everyone, it's great to see you. I am out in the front yard and with me are some of my favorite plants, of course. And this is my Heuchera Apple Twist. And you can probably tell from there that Apple Twist is not doing too well. So Heuchera are really, really hardy perennials and very few things are bothered by them. My bunny rabbits leave them alone, which works out really, really well. However, there are a couple of insects that do bother Heuchera and unfortunately, this one has been affected. Now I'm not sure whether it's being eaten by earwigs or by black vine weevils, but I'm gonna dig it up because it's also in too sunny of a spot. This is a very fair colored heuchera. And remember the lighter, the paler the color of the heuchera leaf, the more shade it needs. So it's getting too much sun anyway, and it's being eaten. So it deserves a new spot to live after I resuscitate it. I'm gonna dig it up. I'm gonna treat the ground both for earwigs and for black vine weevils, and I'll show you how I do that, and then give it a nice drink and hopefully a new home. So a couple things that I'm noticing here, it's really dry here. We're having some irrigation issues too, so this is probably not helping the whole, um, keeping this alive <laughs> issue. Um, so a lot of dryness, I did not see anything run. So I don't know still what insect is eating it, but definitely a good idea to dig it up. So there are a couple things that I use. I am not sponsored by either of these. I just know that they're good products. One is Sluggo Plus. If you get Sluggo Plus, as opposed to your regular Sluggo, this does treat your earwigs. It does a bunch of other things, but your earwigs, this will get. Um, and it's completely harmless to animals, non-toxic. So I just sprinkle some of the Sluggo Plus around here. Okay. Then I also have diatomaceous earth. So if these are being eaten by black vine weevils, then the diatomaceous earth will get them. Um, and this is also non-toxic to people. So you just sprinkle, it's a powder, you sprinkle a little bit on here and we'll be all set. Okay, that was probably too much, but we're definitely getting the vine weevils now. Now I'm gonna go dig up the other heuchera like this. This is actually a different kind of heuchera here. This is Lemon Supreme, but just like Apple Twist, it also has those very pale lime-colored um, leaves. So it really needs to be relocated too. I can tell that it's been quite eaten, and this is very dry. You can see that this apple twist doesn't look like it's in nearly as bad of shape as the others, but this is how the others started out. You'll see that there are notches in the leaves on the outside here, and they're also getting some browning. That really looks like vine weevil to me. So I'm gonna take this one out too, treat this area, and it's just too sunny for this poor baby. backyard now and I filled a nice square container rectangular container here with water and this is the method that I use for any plants that I say are in triage these plants that you get maybe on the sale rack at Home Depot and they just look sad you need to take them home fill a container like this or a smaller one if you have one plant and just soak them overnight and really really let them rehydrate it is so good for the plants and it is amazing how you can have a plant that looks really really like it is on its way out and it will revive so that's what i'm going to do with these now the two types of bugs that i thought could be eating it the earwigs and the black uh the black weevils um they don't fly so i am going to just sprinkle around the edge some Sluggo Plus and some of the diatomaceous earth in case there is some in the dirt that I'm putting in here and they decide to climb out. I don't want them going to other places in my garden. And since this is so 
um, non-harmful. I don't mind just doing this a little bit. I feel like I'm like going to ward off vampires or something. Okay, we're all ready for the bugs. Then I'm going to take the plants that I have here and I'm going to pick off the real, real dead leaves here. Anything that's just obviously not going to come back can just be thrown away. Okay, and then I'm just going to put it right in the water to soak. We had talked about how to divide heuchera before by splitting in between these little sections. This one was so dry that it actually just divided itself. So I just created extra heuchera. Okay, so we have our heuchera soaking now. Now, I know that the, these plants were not eaten because they were in the wrong spot in the garden. However, having a plant in the wrong spot in the garden, like I did, not getting it enough water, too much sun, you know, that weakens your plant's ability to fight against any of these things that it comes up again, whether it's a powder mildew or a bug attack. Um, so you really, you know, you take the time and you, you say, whoops, put that one in the wrong place. You dig it up and then you get it situated so that it really can thrive in its next location. I'll keep you posted on how these do. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.